now found our perfect little camp spot for the evening. Jesse just getting us in place. Are we in the shade? I mean, look at this. It's like 360 green, nice little place. I think we got a good spot here, Kara. The sun will be shaded in just a second here. I mean, it's pretty bright right now, but... Give it like five minutes. Yeah, five, ten minutes. By the time we're set up it, and we're in the shade, I think we're good. I need to start bringing a little weed eater. <laughs> Trim around. But love coming up with the Bronco and the Bean. Out here, no hookups, complete boondocking, off-grid. And we have some really cool gadgets to try out this time, so that's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But let's get set up, Kara. Now that we've got our perfect little spot, we need to get leveled. <laughs> And in order to get leveled, we need to get our We're new... Try out our new beefy blocks. Now, <laughs> a few months ago, I tried them out. I was out on my own and I messed up. I thought the little red plate here was to hold it all together. It's not. <laughs> the little red plate is for if you're using it for your tongue jack or whatever to make one solid smooth for surface. It's not to hold the, the Lego part together. Let's see if I can do it right this time, which, I mean, Lego blocks shouldn't be that hard, but these are really nice. They are built here in Utah. They're not some Chinese crap. We talked to the owners and they've done some testing on using like cement equipment. And it was over 30,000 pounds that they were able to, to use these on before they had any sort of stress. So they should handle the little bean without a problem. I like that it has this little Velcro. Makes it nice, but so this, is if you're just using it for your regular tongue jack, which we'll use right up here. And I thought these were just handles, so you can move them around really easy. They're a ramp. So this way you can drive up without the block sliding so much. So as your tire goes up, it pressures down on it, but ramps it up. If any of you have ever had your block sliding on you and you have to have your wife put her foot back there and you have to stop before it rolls over her foot, this should help avoid that. We're only a little bit low on that side, so let's just take a few over. We're gonna be pulling up on the block. So just wedge that underneath like that. That should be enough. A little more. Little more. Little more. Yeah. Okay, Alright, let's unhook and level front to back and then we'll get dinner going. that the bean does not have a bathroom, nor are we even near a restroom. Uh, just doing a little scout out uh, to see where we should place our little potty. A little trail right here. Perfect. You have some privacy, but you can still look at the river. Oh, hey, there you go. You think that worked for you? Sure. Okay. somewhat level. Yeah. This will be a lot nicer than having to find a place between trees or yeah. whatever. Well, that was difficult. Yeah? Really hard? Yeah, really hard. How about you uh, try putting that away? Oh, it'll go away. Your door. That's pretty slick. I put poles in and out and all that sort of no, stuff. Oh, that's nice. Mm, pop it there. So, we'll just have to go down the creek. Well, there's one right there. Mm -hmm. Crick or creek? Crick, we're in Utah. Crick. Utah word of the day, crick. Look at it. people. We're going to have a huge trash bag full of stuff. For example, this 
is a crick. It is not big enough to be a river. You can jump across it. Crick. Or as most people say, creek. But I was raised saying creek, so when I'm camping in the mountains, it's a creek. It's a creek. Then in the bucket, we just have our little Ozark. What are these called? Toilet waste bags. So they have the biodegrading stuff, all that. That way we can pack it back out. See it has the stuff down in. To help with biodegrading and smells and things like that. You just open it up as much as possible. Maybe. Come on. It's not like a full. Yeah. I think this works. You're missing Brian? one thing. Toilet paper. It's in the trailer. Yeah. I sure hope so, at least. Three Real squares? Clear. You can't spare three squares? No, I don't have a square to spare. I can't spare a square. <laughs> well, is it too fun? Getting it cleaned up a little bit. This has been a good old grill. We got this as a wedding gift and we've been married for 19 years now. Pop quiz. <laughs> I sure hope I'm saying that right, Kara, am I? Yeah. Okay. Well. We'll have 20th anniversary coming up in August. Yeah. Well, July, end of July. July 30th. Yeah. But that has been a tough grill. 20 years old, still doing great. Striker's gone, but. Yeah, yeah, a little it. striker gone but oh well but it fires right up every time yeah I just you know I use my lighter and it's good to go yep well you look befuddled I was trying to figure out what all this white powder was down in here uh -huh. I mean it's not you know nothing super good but one of oh, your souvenirs rock. has been rattling around down in here and it's just dirt and powder <laughs> it's a souvenir that she just keeps kind of giving. I mean, it's a cool rock, but... All right, next time I will try to remember. You forgot your rock, I forgot to drain the water tank. Life goes on. Yeah. Oh, we for almost forgot our level-headed. These things are awesome. Let's go make sure that the, the table's level. I forgot about these. Oh, dang. That is... We aren't going to need them on this table. Ooh. That never happens. If you need to lay it, level your table, these level-headed blocks. Now, they don't have a Facebook site. They don't have a presence on the internet. It's some local guy here in Utah that sells them at Motorsports Land. And they're great. I don't know how to tell you to get them, but I really ought to get in contact with them and let us sell them. But, yeah. All right. Well, that doesn't need to be leveled. Justin needed to feel a little manly. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. With this size of hatchet, that's all you can say is a little manly. <laughs> we thought we needed a fire tonight. It might. It helps keep the bugs away. And being so close to the creek and, you know, everything else, it might get a little buggy. So. Ambiance. Yeah. And I bought some more stuff. So when Natalie gets up here, I bet she's going to want s'mores. Okay. I do what I can for Natalie. Mm-hmm. Wow, I think you could have bent that over your knee faster. <laughs> I could have, <laughs> but I had the hatchet. Really, the most effective thing is just a little saw. Way more effective than a hatchet. But... Pretty nice and peaceful, right, Kara? Yeah. Sitting here, this is the birds and the crickets and the river and the crackle of the fire. Ugh, so nice. Yeah, it's so much cooler than down in the valley. And it really wasn't that hard. <laughs> threw no, in a few really. groceries. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's so easy. Just throw in a few things, 
change clothes, whatever's in the fridge. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a big production. Nope, it's great. So we're just gonna hang out with the fire till it gets dark and then mosey on to bed. Early the next morning. Good morning, we are just getting up. <laughs> Sun is just coming over the et, the ridge there, and it's beautiful this morning. Nice and calm. And oh, look there! Got, hot chocolate. Got me my little white hot chocolate. Jesse's got the grill going. I think that's her pet name for me. White hot chocolate. White hot chocolate <laughs> with a dash of nutmeg. <laughs> Anyways. Just enjoying our little morning here. Jesse's got a little ham steak going, some eggs. Uh, other than that, that, that's about all on our agenda this morning. <laughs> Just enjoying it. Breakfast sandwiches, pretty easy, especially with the Blackstone. If you don't have a Blackstone, look into a Blackstone. These things are amazing. Just so easy, plus, oh gosh, a fly or a bee. Okay. Plus, oh, you got a bee right in front of you. There you go. All you need with your Blackstone, a little scraper like this, so easy to clean up. Just scrape it off, give it a little wipe, it's done. One of the best cooking items for camping that you can find. Another camping gadget that Kara brought home the other day is this Mopeka Pro propane monitor. If you don't know what it's like to run out of propane when it's cold and your heater's going in the middle of the night and you have to go out and change bottles, it sucks. So now I can keep track of how much propane I have in the bottle before I go to bed. And so if I need to switch it over, I can, or before I start cooking or whatever. So you just slap this, it just syncs Bluetooth to your phone. Um, then just put it to the bottom of your tank, kind of right in the center. Now on my phone, I can just pull up my iTank monitor. And it says new propane device, yes. Okay, and it's 83% full. And when you have small tanks like this, this can be a problem of monitoring your propane. And in our fifth wheel, we have the bigger tanks. It's not as big a deal. It takes a lot more to run those out. But on this, running the furnace all night, cooking, all that sort of stuff, a weekend, you can burn a bottle pretty easy. It makes it so nice to be able to tell before you go to bed, before it gets cold, if you need to switch over the bottles. Or if you're wondering if your bottles are empty and need to be filled, now you know. Instead of taking a half full bottle down and you know getting a gallon of propane put in one of these. So if you're looking, we'll put all the information down below for the Mopeka propane monitor. Just getting packed up to go. I don't know about you guys, how many of you have to pull everything out and reorganize it every time? I I don't know a better way to do this, but we got so much stuff, but it all rattles around and everything else. And you pull out one thing, everything falls over. I really need to figure out a better way to organize this. Now if I can get this thing back in the back. <laughs> okay, so it says, stand on this and I fold it. One eternity later. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna zip this in before it explodes back out. Last thing before we leave, we're gonna go through and pick up any trash that we can find. This place had a bunch of stuff that other people had left. And we like being able to come out and camp in the open like this. And the way that we are able to keep doing this is cleaning up. Uh, there's a lot of people that just leave trash around and they're the reason that all this land keeps getting taken away is because they can't take care of it. I know they think it's a big political conspiracy, but it's really, they're trashing it and it's getting taken away. So we're gonna go through and clean up as much as we can because there was a bunch left. That way nobody shuts this area down. Maybe through cans in the fire pit. Looks like the overnight trip's coming to an end. Really fun to get out of the heat, just even overnight, roast some s'mores, those sort of things. It was also kind of fun to try out some new gadgets. We had the new tent, which Kara says was really nice. 
And we also had the beefy blocks, which worked great. We'll put a link down below for that. And what else did we try out? Oh, the propane monitor, Kara, which worked really good, right? Yes. Overall, I know a lot of people are like, gosh, just an overnighter, that's so much work. But if you can, you know, make things as simple as possible, it's really not that bad. It's always nice to get out to the outdoors and spend a little bit more time, especially when you get a camp next to a little river. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things. We appreciate it. Comment below if you've used any of these gadgets before or any thoughts on the video. And as always, enjoy your weekend. I'll be able to monitor. Good catch.